Hello, hello. This is Robin Sampson with BibleJournalLove.com. I'm here to answer a question on Photoshop elements that I received in the Bible Journal Love Facebook group. This is a question about fonts. Does anyone know how to change the font menu so that it doesn't cover up my image that I'm working on? She wants to see when it hovers over the font how it changes, and I'm going to show you how that works. This is a page I was working on earlier today. I'm working in a traveler's notebook background. And here is the Bible verse. Now this is what I'm assuming happened to her. That she selected the text. You can hit Command A on a Mac or Command Control A on a PC to select all the text of the verse. And then she went down here to the bottom to the font menu and wanted to look at what different fonts would look like. And Adobe has this really neat feature where you can scroll over each font and see the change. But we can't see it because the font menu is covering the image. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. The page I'm working on is parked up here and it's stationary. This bar is parking it. If I click on this bar and pull it, it becomes a floating image and I can move it anywhere on the page. I'm going to move it way over here. Let's make it a little bit bigger by pulling on the corners. And now we can go to the font menu and scroll and try different fonts. There's a, a nice font, but that needs to be a little bit bigger. So you can see what she needs to do in the image because the font menu is not covering up now. Now let me park this back to make it stationary again. If you go to pull on this bar and you are unable to pull on it, it won't move. It's because of your preferences and I'm going to show you how to change that. Go to the top of the bar, to the very top of your left hand corner to the Adobe Photoshop Elements and click on it. Then drop at the drop down, click on Preferences and then click on General. When you click this on, Underneath the options, the fourth box down says allow floating documents in expert mode. By default, it is not checked. Therefore, when you come into Photoshop Elements and pull on this bar, nothing happens. But once you go to Adobe Photoshop Elements, then go to Preferences, then go to General, underneath the options, click on allow floating documents and from now on until you change it you will be able to float all windows you can have 10 of them on here floating in different sizes and then you can make them bigger or smaller by pulling on them now if you want to zoom in to, to see the font better you'd use command and a plus sign on a mac con control and plus sign on the pc to just make the image bigger. So I hope that helps. If anyone else has a question about Photoshop Elements, please ask in the Bible Journal Love Facebook group and maybe I can make you a video. Visit BibleJournalLove.com for lots of Bible journaling information and for freebies and to find out about our Bible journaling classes. Be sure you subscribe to get special freebies and sale announcements. Some of you are missing a weekly freebie that I give on the Bible Journal Love Facebook page. So make sure that you go over there and follow so that you get the weekly freebie. Once you click on follow, click on see first and turn on the notifications for highlighted posts. That way you'll be sure to see the freebie every week. See you in the Facebook group. Don't forget to ask questions. I'm here to help you.